students how are you all i hope all you are keeping fine i am sukul amram this video clip is part 1 of computer standard 4 dear students kindly open your book page number 52 today we shall learn chapter 5 that is more about word 2013 in this chapter we shall learn about changing case highlighting text find and replace bullets and numbering symbols spelling and grammar check and thesaurus let us read the lesson and learn from it more about word 2013 apart from being attractive a document must also be flawless there must not be any spelling grammatical or punctuation error in it let's study these features and more about word 2013 in this chapter dear students more about word 2013 in this program we can make the text attractive and correctly even spelling grammatical and punctuation error will be avoided and we can make it correct changing case when you type the text for a document you may realize that you should have typed some important words in capital letters or upper case or certain words in small letters or lower case in word 2013 you can change the case of any letters of your text in one of the following five ways sentence case the first letter of a sentence should be capital and others in lower case lower case all the letters remain in lower case or small letters upper case all the letters remain in upper case or capital letters capitalize each word the first letter of each word remains capital and others are in lower case toggle case this option changes lower case letters to upper case and upper case letters to lower case follow these steps to change the case of your text in a document step 1 select the text step 2 click on the home tab step 3 from the font group click on the change case button step 4 click on the desired option from the drop down menu highlighting text highlighting is a formatting option that adds a colored background to the selected text this makes the text look different and draws the readers attention towards it to highlight text follow these steps step 1 click the home tab step 2 in the font group click the drop down menu arrow of the text highlight color button select the color you want the mouse pointer now changes to a pen shaped pointer step 3 select the text you want to highlight 
the text gets highlighted page number 54 find and replace sometimes you realize that you want to find a particular word or text in a document or you wish to replace the same with some other word or text you can use the find command to search a particular word or text in your document you can use the replace command to replace a particular word or text in your document with another word or text finding text follow these steps to find a word or text in a document step 1 click on the home tab step 2 click on find from the editing group step 3 the navigation pane will be displayed in the left side of the window step 4 type the word or text you want to search in the text box step 5 the word or text gets highlighted in your local color you can also see the preview of the search result in the navigation pane step 6 when you select an instance it becomes highlighted in gray the arrow keys can be used to move through the result one at a time you have the option to choose a preview to go straight to the location of a specific result of your document step 7 to close the navigation pane click on the close button replacing text you can use the find and replace commands together to search for a specific word or text in a document and replace it by another word or text follow these steps to find and replace a word or text step 1 click on the home tab step 2 click on replace from the editing group step 3 you will see the find and replace dialog box with the replace tab selected step 4 write the word or text that you want to search in the find word box step 5 write the word or text with which you want to replace the word or text typed in the find word box step 6 click on find next when the word or text typed in the find word box is found it becomes highlighted in the red color click on the find next button to remove the occurrence of the word or text without replacing it with that of the replace with box click on the replace button to replace the word or text with that of the replace with box click on the replace all button to replace all occurrences of the word or text in the find what box with that of the replace with box step 7 now you can repeat step number 6 till you replace all occurrences of the word or text in the find what box step 8 you will see a message box click on okay page number 56 step 9 after finishing you can close the find and replace dialog box bullets and numbering 
bullets and numbering can be used to organize text in point form a bullet is a small graphic symbol that marks an important line of information a bulleted list can be applied if the order of items in the list does not matter by default word has a black dot as a bullet you can use a numbered list for marking if the order of items is important such as in a sequence of events or steps in a particular order creating a bulleted list follow these steps to create a bulleted list step 1 bring the cursor at the place from where you want to start the list you can also do it by selecting the paragraphs you want to add in your list step 2 click on the home tab step 3 click on the bullets drop down menu arrow from the paragraph group step 4 the bullet library will be displayed when you start moving the pointer on various bullet styles you will see a live preview of the bullet style in a document step 5 you can select the bullet of your choice by clicking on it changing bullet style follow the steps given below to change the bullet style step 1 select the bulleted list step 2 click on the home tab step 3 click on the bullets drop down menu arrow step 4 click define new bullet from the drop down menu that appears the define new bullet dialog box will be displayed step 5 click on the symbol button page number 58 step 6 you will see the symbol dialog box step 7 select the font of your choice and then select the particular symbol step 8 to close the symbol dialog box click on okay removing the bullet follow these steps to remove the bullets step 1 select the list step 2 click on the home tab step 3 from the paragraph group click on the bullets drop down menu arrow and then click none creating a numbered list follow these steps to create a number list step 1 bring the cursor to the place from where you want to start the list You can also select the paragraphs to add in the list. Step 2 click on the home tab. Step 3 from the paragraph group you can click on the numbering drop down menu arrow. The numbering library will be displayed. Step 4 select the numbering style of your choice. dear students more about word 2013 already we know word 2013 software is provided to make attractive documents also be flawless and there must not be any spelling grammatical and 
punctuation error in it changing case changing changing case when we type the text for document we may change it in capital letters or certain words in small letters in word 2013 we can change the case of any letters of the text in one of the following five ways first one is sentence case in sentence case the first letter of a sentence should be capital and others in lower case and second lower case in lower case all the letters remain in lower case or small letters third upper case in upper case all the letters remain in upper case or capital letters and fourth is capitalize each word in this case each word remains capital first letter and other are in lower case or small letter then toggle case in toggle case change lower case letters or small letters to upper case or capital letters and upper case letters to lower case capital letter to small letter next highlighting text highlighting is a formatting option and that adds a colored background to the selected text and this makes the text look different and draws the readers attention towards it and to highlight the text we have to follow three steps step 1 is click the home tab and step 2 in the font group click the drop drop down menu arrow of the text highlight color button then select the color according to your choice and mouse pointer now changes to a pen shaped pointer and step 3 is select the text you want to highlight next find and replace find and replace how we can find the text or how we can search the text and how we can replace the text first is finding text to find the text we have to follow five steps and these five steps are step 1 is click on the home tab then step 2 click on find from the editing group then step 3 is the navigation pen will be displayed in the left side of the window and step 3 for is type the word or text which one you want to search in the text box then step 5 is the word or text gets highlighted in yellow color and you can also see the 
प्रिव्यू ऑफ द सर्च रिजल्ट इन द नेविगेशन फैन देन स्टेप सिक्स इज वेन यू सिलेक्ट एन इंस्टेंस इट बिकम्स हाईलाइटेड इन ग्रे द एरो कीज कैन बी यूज टू मूव थ्रू द रिजल्ट वन एट ए टाइम and you have the option to choose a preview to go straight to the location of a specific result of the document then step 7 is to close the navigation pane click on the close button second replacing text in this Yes, we in this command we can use the find and replace commands together to search for a specific word or text in the document and to replace the word or text we have to follow nine steps and these nine steps are in step one click on the home tab. then step 2 is click on replace from the editing group then step 3 you will see the find and replace dialog box with the replace tab selected then step 4 write the word or text that you want to find or you want to search in the find what box then step 5 write the word or text with which one you want to replace the word or text type it in the find what box then step 6 is click on find next when the word or text typed in find what box is found it becomes highlight highlighted in gray color and step 6 has three points and these three points are click on the find next button to remove the occurrence of the word or text without replacing it with the replace with box and second is click on the replace button to replace the word or text with the replace with box and third is click on the replace all bo button to replace all occurrence of the word or text in the find word box with that of the replace with box then step 7 is now we can repeat the step 6 and replace all occurrence of the words or text in the find what box then step 8 we will see a message box and click on okay and step 9 is after finishing we can close the find and replace dialog box next bullets and numbering bullets and numbering can be used to organize text in point form and a bullet is a small graphic symbol and that marks an important line of information then let us know how to create a bulleted list to create a bulleted list we have to follow five steps step 1 is bring the cursor at the place where we want to start the list then step 2 is click on the home tab step 3 click on the bullets drop down menu arrow from the paragraph group and step 4 bullet li library will be displayed and when we move the mouse pointer on various bullet style 
we can see a live preview of the bullet style in the in the text and step 5 we select the bullet according to our choice and click on it next changing bullet style also we can change the bullet style suppose we have already inserted a bullet style but we don't like that bullet we want to change so we can change the bullet style to change the bullet style we have to follow five steps in step one select the bulleted list then step two click on the home tab then step three click on the bullets drop down menu arrow then step four click define new bullet from the drop down menu and that appears the define new bullet dialog box will be displayed step 5 is click on the symbol according to our choice and new bullet will be inserted then step 6 is we can see the symbol dialog box step 7 is select the font of our choice and then select the particular symbol then step 8 is to close the symbol dialog box and click on ok then removing a bullet removing bullet also we can remove the bullet to remove the bullet we have to follow three step step one is select the list and step two click on the home tab and step three is from the paragraph group click on the bullets drop down menu arrow and then click none then the bullet will be removed next creating a number list dear students instead of bullet also we can add the number and we can make the number list with the paragraphs or lines and when we want to add the number or to make the number list we have to follow four steps and these four steps are step one is bring the cursor to the place from where we want to start the list and we can also select the paragraphs to add in the list and step 2 is click on the home tab then step 3 from the paragraph group we can click on the numbering drop down menu arrow and number library will be displayed then step 4 is select the numbering style according to our choice symbols you can add symbols with your text these are a special characters that you can insert in a document symbols like heart star arrow etc can be inserted and formatted in a document just like any other text each font contains a different set of symbols inserting a symbol follow these steps to insert a symbol in a document step 1 bring the cursor to the place at which you want to insert a symbol click on the insert tab step 2 from the symbols group click on the symbol option step 3 a list of symbols will be displayed click on the symbol of your choice step 4 
for finding more options click on more symbols step 5 the symbol dialog box will be displayed step 6 click on the symbols tab step 7 select the font of your choice from the font list now you can select the desired symbols step 8 click on the insert button and then click on close page number 60 spelling and grammar check a text document can have errors that we may not notice you may have seen that while typing text in word 2013 sometimes you see a red or green wavy line that appears below some words the red wavy underline denotes that the word is misspelled all those words that are not present in the word dictionary are marked with this red wavy line as misspelled the green wavy underline is meant for grammatical errors the spelling and grammar check command in word lets you check and correct the spelling of all the words in a document follow these steps to check spelling and grammar step 1 bring the cursor at the place from here you want to start checking the spellings in your text step 2 click on the review tab step 3 click on the spelling and grammar button from the proofing group the spelling task pane gets displayed at the right side of the document window step 4 the word with error gets highlighted and the alternate suggestions can be seen in the suggestions box you can select from the following options click on the rightly spelled word from the suggestions list click on change for changing the word you can also click on change all for changing the word from the entire document you can click on ignore when you do not need correction you can click on ignore all to keep on checking the document and leaving aside all the instance of the highlighted word unchanged within the entire document click on add for including the word in the word dictionary when you click on a button that action is taken and then the next word becomes highlighted step 5 you can repeat step number 4 till you see a message box that shows spelling and grammar check complete you are good to go step 6 click on ok thesaurus you can see a list of synonyms through the thesaurus tool synonyms are those words that have similar meaning for a given word it can be used to replace a word with one of its synonyms follow these steps to use the thesaurus step 1 click on the review tab step 2 from the proofing group click on thesaurus step 3 
you will see the thesaurus task fan at the right side of the window it displays a list of synonyms for the selected word step 4 select a word from the list of result if you want to search for more words you can select in any of these ways for using a word select it and pause over the word and click the drop down arrow and click on insert or copy page number 62 to find more related words click on a word in the list of result dear students symbols we can add symbol with the text and these symbols are a special character and that we can insert in the document and symbols are like heart stars arrows etc and we can insert it and format it in the document and each font contains a different set of symbols let us see how we can insert a symbol to insert a symbol we have to follow eight steps and these eight steps are in step 1 bring the cursor to the place where we want to insert a symbol then click on the insert tab then step 2 is from the symbols group click on the symbol according to your choice then step 3 is a list of symbols will be displayed and click on the symbol of your choice then step 4 is for finding more options click on more symbols then step 5 is the simple dialog box will be displayed step 6 click on the symbol tab then step 7 is select the font of your choice from the font list and you can select the desired symbol then step 8 is click on the insert button and then click on close button then a spelling and grammar check dear students in what 2013 program help us to check the spelling and its grammatical error a text document can have errors and that we may not notice so you may have seen that while typing the text in word 2013 sometimes we see a red or green wavy line that appears under or below some words or sentence the red wavy underline mention the word is misspelled or the spelling is wrong and the when we see green wavy underline it means for grammatical errors the spelling and grammar check command in word we can check and correct the spellings of all the words in a document then follow 
four steps to check spelling and grammar step 1 is bring the cursor at the place from where we want to start checking the spellings in the text or document then step 2 is click on the review tab then step 3 click on the spelling and grammar button from the grouping group the spelling task pen gets displayed at the right side of the document window then step 4 is the word with error gets highlighted and the alternate suggestions can be seen in the suggestions box also we can select from the following options click on the rightly spelled word from the suggestions list then click on change for changing the word we can also click on change all for changing the word from the entire document and third we can click on ignore when we do not want to correction or do not need correction and we can click on ignore all to keep on checking the document and leaving aside all the instance of the highlighted word unchanged within the entire document then click on add for including the word in the word dictionary then step 5 is we can repeat step number 4 till we see a message box that shows spelling and grammar check complete you are good to go then step 6 is click on okay then thesaurus thesaurus is a list of synonyms through which we can see the words synonyms and synonyms are those words that have similar meaning for a given word and it can be used to replace a word with one of its synonyms and follow four steps to replace the synonyms of words in step 1 click on the review tab then step 2 from the grouping group click on thesaurus then step 3 is we can see the thesaurus task pane at the right side of the window and it display a list of synonyms for the selected word then step 4 select a word from the list of synonyms word and if we want to search for more words we can select in any of these ways one is for using a word select it and pause over the word and click the drop down arrow and click on insert or copy and second is to find more related words click on a word in the list of result